This PGA Tour event brought to you by 2K Sports. Today's coverage of the Green Hill Classic is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. Hi, I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam. It's been great to have your company here. Rich, we're into the final round now. What's our next player dealing with as they get it underway? Should be a lot of nerves. They got the lead. They've been sleeping on it overnight. That is never an easy thing to do. Almost an uncomfortable situation at times, but they are playing well, so they have that confidence going into the final round. But this is going to be a tough afternoon ahead. Let's get down to the action. That's just inside the range. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Yeah, that was slightly misjudged. That will drive you bats. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. He's currently sitting in first place. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. John, give us an update. What's shaking? Well, I am on the third hole, and Justin Thomas is just getting ready to hit. Getting ready to play their third. And back to the course with the live action. Well, this is some lovely momentum to take into the tournament. Coming off a last start win, Rich. Can't think of any better momentum. Obviously, the players firing on all cylinders. Sit back, watch, and enjoy it. Sadly, in the sand, but a chance to make up for the error. Yes, difficult light made a par here yesterday. A little bit more difficult today. Well, that's a beautiful bunker shot there. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. That is definitely a confidence builder. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Do you attack it and try and increase your lead, or do you lay back and play safe? I like to attack it. What do they like to do? That's tidy. Two wins so far this season. Seven feet to the cup. Hey, that's a chance. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Going with a three wood here. Well, this one looks like it's heading to the sand. That's not the outcome they're after. Not taking enough club to get it there. Let's have a look at Kevin Kisner.
Rich, Kevin Kisner is one of these guys who graduated from the University of Georgia. And he is like a bulldog, isn't he? He's like a dog with a bone out on the course. You can tell how important a situation is to a player by looking in their eyes. And if you look at Kevin and you watch him play, you realize that every single shot to him is important. He's got the most steely eyes that I've seen in the game since Ray Floyd. And Ray was probably the toughest character I'd ever seen on a golf course. Kevin Kisner is that guy. He is the toughest man out there in my mind's eye. Still in the lead now after that hole. You've arrived at a par five. Well, it'd be nice to see them bounce back after the drop shot at the last. That should find the fairway. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Down here on hole number eight, this is Cameron Champ. And that shot goes in. That'll be a birdie. A little punch shot here. Oh, yes. What a result. Fantastically played. Playing from around 230 yards. Greens below them here. They might need to take a little less club. Opting for the three wood. Four right. Setting up from the first cut here in the green. Yeah, they parred this hole yesterday, but from easier circumstances today, a little more difficult, but still doable. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Well, this has been a hole he's unable to take advantage of so far for this event. Ooh. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. And down it goes. Currently in first position. Two great shots are required here because this hole is a long par four. should find the cut stuff. Time for the second shot here at the sixth. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Needs this one to kick right. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. Needed to take a little less club on that approach. was wonderfully done just six feet between here and the hole nice stroke solid power putt that john what's going on talk to us goose well guys i'm down on hole number seven and justin thomas is just getting ready to hit Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. That's a touch of the Freddie Couples rhythm right there. Sitting up here, looking at an elevated green. Ooh. 
Yep, that'll work. That's fine. Putting for birdie. Get in. And that putt will end up short. Well, I think they fell in love with the line, forgot about the pace. He's got a par putt here. Let's see if he can make it. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Par threes always offer up that hope of a hole in one. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Well, this one might need to get down a little. Now that looked pretty good the whole way. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. And this is Cam Champ's effort from just a short time ago. You've left yourself a long way between the holes, so let's get this one close. Just didn't drop. Right on four feet, should make this one. That was a gallant attempt. This next putt is for bogey. Job done. Let's head to the next. Our leader is currently enjoying an eight-shot advantage. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Oh, just missed. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. It's a lofty position this player has held all tournament, but what a buffer they've built with just nine to play. Yes, but if they start thinking about it, that's where the danger happens. They have to keep their head down and keep playing on the front foot if they want to see this thing home. How much did the win last week give them the confidence to perhaps pull it off again here and go back to back? A massive win last week, looking to double up again this week. I got to say, they're building off all the good things they did last week. A win could definitely happen. And here we are with the third shot. Seven feet to the cup. It's on a good line. It's on a good line. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Leading by eight strokes now after that hole. You've reached the 11th hole and the tee is yours. Going with a three wood here. Wonderfully played. This one's for Birdie.
Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. Okay, let's head to the next. John, do you have any info down there? Well, I'm taking a look at Cameron Champ's game down here on the 14th. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Our current leader is enjoying a seven-stroke advantage. Let's see what happens here at the 12th. And after a par at the last, chance to maybe take a step in the right direction here. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? From around 180 yards out. Win back into their grill. They need to flight this one down. Opting for the hybrid, I think. A wonderful shot and a birdie opportunity coming up at the 12. Getting ready to play their third. Wind is blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the wind back to this pin. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Oh, that goes down for an eagle. And that'll promote a good move up the standings. Hasn't managed to booty this hole this week. Good stroke. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. Now, eight shots in front. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Playing from 110 yards out. Up the hill to an elevated green. They're going to need to take a little extra club to get it all the way back to this pin. Chosen the pitching wedge here. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. Wind is absolutely swirling in this part of the golf course. That's a wonderfully played chip shot there. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. No movements up or down on the leaderboard for this player. Here we are in front of a par three. Going with the 9-9, I think. Uh, it's heading to the rough for mine. Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. Well, definitely the wind had to have gotten a hold of that one. Oh, wonderfully played chip shot. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. And let's take a look at this shot from just a moment ago. Justin Thomas with an amazing shot. I gotta say, his short game is one of the best in the game. Oh, that's a beauty. How about holding that one? And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Our current leader is up by a whopping seven shots now. Welcome to the tee at this par five hole. Go get after it. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. Here's some action from just a moment ago. Well, Cameron Champ, he went after it here, didn't he? This is fourth. Second shot here on the 15th. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Oh. 
Sometimes you hit some good ones, sometimes you hit some bad ones. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. 12 feet to the cup coming up. Nice one. Fourth booty of the day. And nice to have that cushion heading down the last few holes. Leading by eight strokes now after that hole. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. Well, Rich, this won't come as a big surprise, will it? Because there's a lot of people talking about this player. They've been performing beautifully all season. And many think they can win this event. Without a doubt, the best player all around on tour in my mind's eye. It is no shock to see them contending for the lead once again. Well, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Let's see what happens here at the 17th. <laughs> Opting for the three wood. Come on, get down. Well, it's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. Air mailed the green with that approach. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Just three feet to the cup. And well hold. Let's move on. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Well, this is when the adrenaline really starts to kick in. Leading the tournament with the final hole to play. Good luck. Looks like a similar approach to yesterday. Unfortunately, it is the same as yesterday. Hopefully, they've put the results yesterday away. Seems to have chosen the three wood. The hole out from off this green here. You'll win the tournament. This putt for the tournament. And mark it down as another W. What a way to win it. Hat trick of victories now. Three of them. Got to say, this player is on fire. And Rich, that seemed like a leisurely waltz to victory, didn't it? Didn't break a sweat on the way to victory lane. I gotta say, I love it. It was so easy and smooth. It was a work of art. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Elvey, and on behalf of Rich Beam, plus all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's good night for now. <laughs>